Hi everyone, my name is Aya. Today we're gonna do downward facing dog. If you have ever taken yoga classes, you probably have done downward facing dog before. We are going to try modifications for downward dog pose. So let's find your downward dog together. We're gonna start cat and a cow for nice warming up. Turn your wrists a little bit out and place your palms on the ground. On your next inhale, move your chest forward and up cow pose. On your next exhale, curl your back and attack your chin. Open your back. Continue. Inhale. Keep the spine nice and long. Broaden your chest. And exhale. Lengthen your tailbone down and open your mid back. Keep going with your own pace. Yoga poses, including downward facing dog, have many different variations, modifications. So I want you to find your pose for yourself and for your practice. All right, one more breath here. And come back to neutral position. Now place your forearms down and circle your hips. So rotate your pelvis, same direction. Inhale and exhale, nice and slow. It warms up our arms, shoulders, chest and back. Relax your neck. Keep the nice space, not only the front, also back of your neck. Reverse circle here. So this is a nice warming up for puppy dog pose, which we're gonna do next. All right, a few more circles here. Nice, everyone. All right, come back to the center. Let's do puppy dog pose. Place your forearms down. Push your yoga mat forward as you move your waist away from your armpit. When you do puppy dog pose, you have less pressure around your hands, wrist, and shoulders. However, you still can get a nice stretch the side of your body, just like a downward dog. So if you have anything going on, your hands, wrist, your shoulders, puppy dog is great modification for downward dog. Relax your face. If you need, you can place your block under your forehead. Use your hands, lift your chest up. Let's come into child pose. Bring your buttocks toward your feet. You can wrap your arms around yourself or maybe extend your arms forward. Stack your hands together. Rest your forehead on your hands. Next modification is downward dog with blocks. When we put our hands on blocks, we can make shoulder level a little bit higher so you don't have much pressure around your hand, wrist, and shoulders. Now please place the blocks on your yoga mat and make sure they are not slippery. And place your hands on blocks and lift your pelvis up. Please bend your knees a lot. Push your block forward, forward as you move your waist away from your armpit, just like a puppy dog. Feel the nice stretch, the side body, and move your heels down to the earth. Stay here a few more breaths. Feel the nice space, the front and the back of your body. Inhale, shift your body forward and release your knees down. Take a breath. All right, move to the next one. Next one is dolphin pose. It's reduced the stress of your wrist. However, you may feel more pressure around your shoulder because your shoulders is lower than the downward dock. So if your shoulders don't like it, then do previous modifications. And if you are doing a dolphin pose, press your forearms down and forward and feel the nice stretch the side of your body and also the back of your legs. Stay here, few breaths. 
Inhale and exhale through your rib cages. And release your knees down. Take a breath. Nice, everyone. All right. So the last one is downward facing dog. Press your palms down and start lifting your pelvis up. Just like we have done before, bend your knees and push your hands forward as you move your waist away from your shoulders. And when you are ready, release your heels down to the earth so that you can really feel full body stretch here. <laughs> nice, everyone. Feel my breath here. So today we tried modifications for downward dog and I hope you find one you like or please remember if you don't like any poses you don't need to do that you can skip it or you can do something else I want you all to listen to your body and follow your mind so that you can have a practice for yourself Thank you for doing yoga with me. And if you like it, please subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Namaste.